I recently updated the system software in all the Garmin avionics in the panel of the Beechcraft A36. To confirm that all the units were working as expected, I flew under VFR to Hoquiam, Washington, on the Washington coast, and I flew a coupled ILS approach to runway 24. Hoquiam is a great airport for practicing both IFR and VFR procedures. It has a full complement of instrument approaches, and it's rarely busy, so you can practice unusual operations such as simulated engine out landings to its long runway. I monitored the frequency for Seattle Center in this area as I flew the ILS, beginning at the initial approach fix at Eulis. The Garmin GTN 750XI provided lateral guidance throughout the approach, tracking the heading leg from Eulis to join the final approach course, and I used the VNAV feature of the Garmin GFC 600 Autopilot to smoothly meet each crossing altitude outside the final approach fix, NETI. As you'll see, all of the systems work well, providing precise guidance to a smooth touchdown. Coquium, Bowerman Airport. Automated weather observation, 1949er Zulu. Wind 250 at 08. Visibility 10. Sky condition, few, 5,500. Scattered, 7,000. Broken, 9,000. Temperature, 1. Okay, we are getting set up to do the uh, ILS runway 24 just to check out some avionics settings at Hopewim. We've loaded the procedure starting at uh, Eulis. We are headed there now. We're about uh, two minutes from Eulis where we'll make a turn to a heading of uh, 183. And continue the approach. So, fuel selectors on the left tank. Power quadrant's good. Lights, we don't need any de-ice. Engine gauges are good. Just over a minute to Eulis. It's gonna be a turn. We're getting a preview already on the uh, Hokley Mile S, which we have selected. Hey, that is uh, 2013, leaving uh, 330. Yeah, 2013, Roger, to come via Hawks. We have the one-minute weather there. It's good, so we're using GPS for the, until we get to the final approach course. 303, United 2013. And then we're expecting it to auto switch to green needles. Yeah, the center jump three, echo x ray, two minutes prior to 140. Going to cross uh, Ulysses at about 23, then down uh, the final approach course to the final approach fix. Approach 125. Of uh, 5.6, right, that's 23. Yeah, to get 21. Yeah, that's 21. programmed in. Using VNAV, here comes the vertical the track announcement. And. Uh, 241, it looks like the ILS uh, needle has slewed correctly. Seattle Southwest, 3330 is checking out decent ink, 385 for 240. We're expecting to fly the ILS, we won't worry about the VDP or the crossing restrictions. And we'll plan, here comes our turn. Southwest uh, 3330, still heard. Should start down here pretty soon. We'll go ahead and bring the power back. Deep path is an unseated or starting down. This is a heading leg. It's an unseated on the um, HSI. We're on the chart. Going down to 216, which we've already set. And, um, the missed approach would be a climb straight ahead to 2500 to hold um, at the VOR. We're not going to do that. We'll just break it off to the uh, south. Yes, guides until we get to, uh, to the final approach fix becomes active after the lamp. Got a uh, minute 40 to lamp. Airport's in sight, just some light rain showers. 
would monitor CTAF now. Hopefully the traffic Bonanza, 1546 Fox Trust, about 15 miles east, straight in approach from lane 24, Oakwind. A bit of a crosswind from the um, right. Checks with the wind. Arm approach mode. Slowing down here for a moment. Localizer is switched. Slow down a little bit before we can take your flaps in gear and the final approach fix. Hope we have traffic been in to 46 Fox Press now on a 10 mile final runway 24. Hope we have approach flaps. Steering coverage. The autopause just holding 2300 until we intercept the glide slope now as we arm the approach instead of descending to 21. Now can get to get us down to 21 at uh, Yeti. Stable in our approach config. All the final landing items are complete except for landing here. seconds to get you. Glide path capture, speed checks, gear coming down. The re-green. Approach plus mixture switch props at 25. Oak wave traffic, Bonanza, 46 Fox Press, now 5 mile final runway, 24, Oak wave. Okay, the traffic is now 200 Alpha and uh, fuel pump taxi to runway 24 the Alpha. Mr. Poach altitude is 2500. We'll plan a full stop, taxi back. Free green. Oakland traffic Bonanza 46 Fox, but now 3 mile final runway 24. Oakland. One thousand to go. Only a slight crosswind component from the right. We're in the groove. to land with approach flaps like we normally do on a low um, precision approach. See the traffic uh, holding short there. About 600 to go. about 400 to go. Oak wave traffic, but the 46 Fox Trek short final, on way 24, full stop, Oak wave. Three green, approach flaps, mixture switch prop to come. Autopilot coming off, the odd amber's coming off. 
couple of minute bumps. Oakland Bonanza 46 Fox Trucks Clearing Runway 24 and Alpha 3 Tech Spec 24. Oakland. Oakland Traffic, uh, Sasnato Hotel uh, Alpha, taking off from Runway 24, make a left downward departure to the east. Stop the airplane. Flaps. Mixture. Cow flaps. Trim. Main strobe. Radios are good. 